With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry, and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question, and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Hello everyone. If we talk about this question, this given question is two simple harmonic motions are represented by y equals to a sine omega t minus k x, and the second equation is y equals to b cos omega t minus k x. Now we have to find out the phase difference between these two okay so let's say the first equation is given as y1 which is nothing but a sine omega t minus kx a sine omega t minus kx okay and the second equation let's say this is y2 which is given as b cos omega t minus kx b cos omega t minus kx now we know that this cos theta can be written as sine sine pi by plus, uh, pi by 2 plus theta so by this particular formula i can say that this y2 can be written as b sin pi by 2 plus omega t minus kx pi by 2 plus omega t minus kx since cos theta can be written as sin pi by 2 plus theta okay now whatever is written inside this trigonometric function is the phase of the equation so phase of y1 phase of y1 is omega t minus kx so let's say this is phi1 its phase which is given as omega t minus kx okay similarly the phase of this y2 is nothing but this which is pi by 2 plus omega t minus kx so let's say this is phi2 which is given as omega t minus kx plus pi by 2 okay now for the equation to y pi by 2 plus omega t minus kx is phase and why not omega t minus kx because for finding out the phase or to find out the phase difference trigonometric ratio should be same so if this is sine and this is cos so we have to change either of one uh, into another so we have changed cos into sine so here phase difference which is denoted by delta phi will be equals to delta phi will be equals to this is nothing but phi 2 minus phi 1 phase 2 minus phase 1 now phi 2 is omega t minus kx plus pi by 2 okay minus phase 1 which is omega t minus kx so this is minus omega t plus kx now we don't need this plus omega t and minus omega t will cancel out similarly minus kx and plus kx will cancel out and we will left with delta phi equals to pi by 2 so this is the phase difference between the two equations which is given in option 1 so option 1 is correct and just all options are incorrect i hope you understood thank you For class 6 to 12, ITG and NEET level. Trusted by more than 5 crore students. Download Doubt and App today.